Well, music can be powerful, and for one Gwinnett County teenager, it can also be healing. Yeah, New Year's Eve, Sean Saunders developed a terrible headache, and things unraveled from there. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here now with his story. And Sine and Tom, this is a really incredible story, and Sean has always loved music. He plays the viola at school, but he'd never really sat down at the piano until last month. And that's when he realized that music can do more than make him happy. It could actually help him heal. I'll play up here and you play down there. It's hard to say if Sean Saunders found the music or the music found him, but his family believes this, this piano, this woman, helped bring the Tequila High School sophomore back from something no one expected. It's a very, very scary story. I've never had anything like that. It was New Year's Eve. He says, Mom, I have a really bad headache. I feel dizzy. I couldn't see correctly. He says, I'm seeing two of you. Kathy Ramos put Sean to bed, watching him, thinking maybe this was the flu. He says, I'm starting to feel numb. Um, and I said, that's not normal. By morning, he couldn't walk. He, he put all his weight on me on his left side. Sean had suffered a stroke, landing him in the intensive care unit at Children's Health Care of Atlanta at Scottish Rite, struggling to move the left side of his body, unable to feel his left hand or fingers. It's devastating. He had no hand movement at all. Line your thumb up on the C key. And that's when music therapist Corey Snyder came into Sean's life. She knew that he played viola for his high school orchestra. And when I brought him to our music therapy room, um, he immediately saw that piano and his eyes lit up. So they began to play together. He was such a music lover. You know, we started with that right hand and doing some really successful improvisational things with his right hand. And so we're going to get your thumb in there and then slowly integrate his left hand with what he could do. When I first started, it was a little difficult because like I knew I could do it, but I couldn't. So I could just get frustrated. Snyder used the rhythm to help Sean's brain remember how to move his hand and finger muscles. And without that rhythm, the brain kind of doesn't have the priming it needs to be able to coordinate the motion. But once you add that predictive rhythm with the piano and the music, then you can really drive those motor patterns and help them redevelop. I mean, I couldn't play correctly or nicely, but like I was able to play music and that was, that was awesome. That calmed me down. Sean's healing by everyone's account has been remarkable. He left Children's Health Care a week after his stroke with a donated keyboard that Corey Snyder had found for him. That was awesome. I was really excited when I first got, when I got that. I feel great. I feel, I feel awesome. I'm almost to 100%, just like a little bit more work. And Sean went back to school about two weeks after his stroke. He's still undergoing physical and occupational therapy at Children's Health Care of Atlanta, but he has come a long way and he loves having that keyboard <laughs> at home. And that's really been instrumental, mm -hmm. instrumental. That's really been key in, in helping him continue this recovery outside of the hospital, you know, to yeah. push himself. And you heard him playing. That's a guy who hadn't played before, you know, early January. And just at amazing, all. yeah, how that therapist dialed into his love for Absolutely. music. Absolutely. And how he lit up when he walked into yeah. that music room. Yeah. Awesome. Great to see that recovery. Thank you, Beth. Thanks, Beth.